Uh, I felt good. I just felt good to get, be able to get out there and, uh, you know, especially get out there with some of the guys who start, you know, to, um, get my feet wet. But it felt good. I just got to keep trying to carry it over and keep trying to play my game. You're starting to get excited for the fact that, I mean, depending on where you play, matchups can change game to game. But against Indiana, no. what do you think about that matchup? I think so. Love it. Uh, you know, playing against Paul George is one of the uh, – you know, he's one of the top players in the league. It's not my first rodeo against him. I played against him in Atlanta. So it, it's, it's going to be great, man, just to get out there and compete and uh, try to play at a high level, man. This is a great feeling. This is what you, you know, back in training camp, this is what you, you, you do practice for every day. So uh, it's a great opportunity for us, and we just got to be ready to take advantage of it. What makes Paul so tough? Uh, he can do it all, you know, he, and he plays on both ends. So that, that makes him really special. But um, – at the same time, man, uh, I got to do my job and try to make whatever shot he shot hard for him. And uh, The motto I always believe in is I don't want him hitting the same shots he hit in early in the game at the end of the game. The last two months for you have pretty much been working towards getting back for the playoffs. Where are you at mentally right now? I'm great. I'm great, man, mentally. Um, I was taking the game by game, and I think tonight I finally, you know, my teammates just told me, you know, when you get out there, you got an open space shooter. You know, you're one of our best three-point shooters, so I felt great tonight. My rhythm feel good. So now it's just about carrying it over into the playoffs and uh, hopefully building my condition up. Is it a little reassuring, to, you know, to, to knock down some threes like that, open open shots to get the confidence going as you head oh, yeah. into the playoffs? For sure, for sure. Um, <laughs> when you see it go through the net, it's reassuring. But I, I really don't focus on that too much. I really focus on what I was doing on defense and, you know, trying to stop guys getting in passes, lane, getting steals, getting rebounds. Them are the main things I focus on. Because offense, you know, it comes and goes. But defense, you always got to carry that, and that's what I try to do. Do you feel, do you feel fit? Like, do you feel like your energy level's where it needs to be? And yeah, for sure, for sure. I feel like I can. I could have played more minutes. But, you know, they, Coach Casey and the doctors and uh, Masai, they're trying to be real conservative with me. I actually just left the office and begged them to let me play tomorrow. <laughs> but they said it, it's not worth it. You know, uh, they rather have me for the playoffs. Uh, but, you know, um, I got to respect what they say. Sometimes as an athlete, you really don't think. Uh, that was, I guess I wasn't thinking, they said. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see, man. I just uh, rest up, man, and try to keep getting healthy. Do you have to play easier to play than do some of the conditioning that's probably going to have you do? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Uh, it's, I, I love to play, you know. Um, just to get out there, man, and run up and down the court is a great feeling. So I'm, I'm just happy to uh, be able to get back out there. Have you been surprised or maybe impressed with how easy it's been to come back and just play 20 minutes in the No, because actually I've been, I've been fasting. I haven't been eating breakfast. <laughs> so um, that's just something that I do, you know, to try to, you know, use when people – I got an injury, they just sit back and eat and soak and feel sorry for themselves. But, um, you know, I try to take a different mind frame and, you know, fast. I don't eat until like 1.30, so uh, it's, it's been good and I, it's really helped my condition a lot. Is this the first time you've done that or is this something you've done previously? Yeah, this is the first time I've done it. Uh, you know me. I had a lot of time on my hands, so I was just on Google reading a lot of stuff. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's worked out for me, so I feel real good and I feel real healthy. Oh, that's man, that's big. You know, I can go out there and I can put it all online. You know, I can look at Coach Casey and say, "Keep playing me," because I know I can rest to tomorrow. And uh, you know, playoff is one game at a time. It's do or die. So uh, you gotta put everything on the line, man. And I feel like that's what I'm trying to do. And you know, as all y'all know, I, you know, I'm trying to come back from an injury and you know, put my body on line. But I need to do whatever I can to have this team. Do you feel ingrained back in the floor things by now on both ends, or do you think it's going to take a little more playing time to get 100% comfortable? No, nah, the way I play is, is total chaos. Like, I really <laughs> – I just go out there and I run and try to play hard as I can and, you know, get in people. And, you know, when you do that, the chips will fall where they fall. So um, I think I'm great, man. I'm ready, and uh, it's a great opportunity. And I got to come out and try to give this – these guys are extra boosts. They've been playing great all year, so hopefully I can give them an extra boost. That's what you did today as well. I mean, the, I think it was plus 21 or something in that third quarter. You turned the game around. Was that extra satisfying to, to be part of that run? Not just to be on the court, but be part of the game turning. Yeah, I'm, I'm very weird. Um, a lot of people say you played great, but 
but um, you know they probably look at stats and numbers and see how. But I don't. The only number I look at when I come in is my plus and minus. And, uh, if I have a great plus and minus, I feel like I'd infected the game in a positive way. I feel great. You know, um, I can play three, four. I always tell people I'm not. You can't put a number on me. I'm just. I'm a basketball player. So if you want me to play the five, I'll play the five. But I don't know how well they'll go over. But I'll play the five. <laughs> What's it like playing with Norman Kyle and having all that three-point shooting on the court at the same time? It's great. You know, Kyle. He's a three-point shooter. Norm. You know, he he's became a three-point shooter. So uh, T. Ross. It's, it's a lot of guys who can fill it up. So it's it's good. And you know, the league is changing to three-point shooting. So um, it's great that we have a lot of guys who can knock down the three ball. Does it make it easier for you to get your own shots when there's more than one option on the floor out there? Yeah, but you know me, I'm not more of, I'm more, I'm not really a, a creator, so I just try to space the floor and uh, knock down my shot and try to uh, get loose balls and offensive rebounds, so it, it makes it even easier for me when, when they got to help out on other guys, I can get open threes myself.